Manny tough enough to take a lopsided loss, but you had to do it in BC. How did it feel on, on Saturday night? Man, well, it wasn't a good feeling because the main objective in pro football is to win games. That's why we're here. But um, you know what? We didn't show up ready to play overall, whether that's offense, defense, special teams. I think it's all about playing as one and actually having your guy back. But, you know, it's a learning experience. Um, it's pro football. Showing up one thing, showing up to play is another. So um, I just think moving forward as a whole, a collective group, we just got to show up ready to play, whether that's at home or it's on the road. You think that's where your veteran leadership comes in handy? You know, helping some of these new guys bounce back from what happened on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that does a lot when you have veteran guys, you know, to pull the younger guys along or just pull the other vets along just to be in the game mentally. You know, everybody knows phys football is a physical physical sport, but at the end of the day, it boils down to being a mental game, having a confidence, you know, and really playing for the guy on the side of you. And that's what it's about. Um, but the closer we could come together as a group, put all the pieces to the puzzle together, because it's a talented club we have, that's no question, but it's us playing as one and just playing for the guy on the side of you. You obviously understand professionalism. You've been a yeah. good pro for a long time. Yeah. So, you know, you have the loss, you look outside, it's ugly, you've got to practice in this crappy conditions. Yeah. You know, do you have to help these younger guys along to, to keep them focused and motivated? Yeah, pretty much, but, um, you know, we grown men. There's only so much you can do. You can't hold them by the hand. You got to have that growth mindset, um, like you speaking on the weather, like we get to be out there, you don't have to. So you got to look at everything as a privilege and an honor to play this game and to be a part of the one percenter. So if you can embrace that attitude, man, I get to be here, I get to play, and that I don't have to, it switches up your whole mindset your mentality on how you approach the game and it's all about your perspective. Um, we went out, we didn't perform how we wanted to, so some guys look at it, how can I be better? Can I do my part to help the team? And that's how you kind of got to look at it. Benny, you, what, sorry. Go ahead. Whenever there's, a, whenever there's a rough start to a team this season, everybody yeah. always points back to that 0-6 BC Lions, right? And, and yeah. What, what was that like just for me, I was in the NFL, so okay. you know that's the year that okay. I left. But you can look at that 0 6 team, and they went on a tear. Man, pro football is about heating up at the right time and getting into the playoffs. It don't matter how you get in, whether you cross over or you just one game and barely squeak by. It's about heating up at the right time, and it's early enough for us to fix the um, adjustments and make the corrections that need be. But um, it's just all about heating up at the right time, and that's what you look at. What team get hot? You know, when the leaves start changing colors, the weather get a little colder, the licks start hurting a little bit more, and you have been around for a long time. How can you still enjoy and love this game and get excited about coming out and you know all the elements and the odds are against you, but you still have that fire you had when you got off this plane in May to approach training camp. But it's just about, man, coming together at the right time. And you can use that 0-6 start as motivation or just give you the mindset, hey, guys, it's not too late. We're still in it. But, you know, each season different, each year different. Every team's different. It'll never be the same huddle and it'll never be the same locker room. But for us, it's about winning the next game. And I was telling some of the guys now, we don't lose at home. So if it was six home games on the schedule, we start the year off 6-0. and because it's automatic when you come to Commonwealth, man, that's where we win at. And that got to be the mindset, not to let anybody walk in your home and just disrespect you or beat you. So I just think the faster we buy into that, um, you know, the coaches do an excellent job. The game plans, how we prepare and how they look out for us, man, it's grade A. So as players, we just have to do our part. Seems everybody in this locker room is either in the veteran 30-plus category yeah. or 22, 23, 24. How difficult is that for – for a group to, to, you know, gel together when hey. there's a big age difference between a lot of guys. Hey, but it's like, you know, age ain't nothing but a number. But um, you learn a lot. You can learn from the young guys um, just being able to adapt and adjust to this new culture because, you know, some of the old school ways might not work for them. You see, and they go vice versa. They figure out, hey, man, this is how y'all used to do it. This is how you work. Man, I ain't look at it like that because back then you got to think. You really had to embrace the grind, and having a work ethic second to none is a whole lot different than what it is today due to the digital world. You can see what everyone's doing. Back then you just had a garage, a gym, put in the work. You didn't know any better. You just had to grind it out. Teams was ran by veterans. Nowadays you got to sprinkle in the little new mix, so you got to – help them along the way, I should say. You can't force anything on them. You have to show them and lead by example, and that's what it's going to take. Like, look, you got young guys out there on the jugs right now, halfway drizzling, but they know they got to work on their craft, and that's what you need. 
um, speaking on that. But even with the age gap, man, we all learn from each other, and iron sharpens iron. Can, can you imagine back in the day if the, the Manny Show had the, the power of Instagram and TikTok behind it? But would have been astronomical. I know, man. Hey, from a branding standpoint, yeah, it would have been off the chain. But uh, <laughs> but nowadays, man, you know, I'm um, still trying to do that. But um, at the end of the day, man, my whole thing is how can I help this Elks organization win a game, do it consistently, man, and get these fans in the stands. It's all about the community, us putting a product out there, man, that these people can be excited to come see. You guys would have showed these kids how to do all the the, the marketing and marketing yourselves. I know, right? Yeah, right. it's different now. They got iPhones, all kind of stuff. We had the Nokia with the snake <laughs> game on it, but um, yeah, that's throwback. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. Oh man, appreciate it.